everyone has Bollinger Bands or envelopes. You can go to Insert, Indicators, on, and you can go to Custom and choose Bollinger Bands or Trend and choose Bollinger Bands or Oscillators and choose Envelopes or whatever else. Bollinger Bands or Envelopes will be perfectly fine. And you want to set those Bollinger Bands or Envelopes to 800. So let me put the Bollinger Bands up here to add to what we're doing. So I'll do it 800 period Bollinger Band with a standard deviation of 2. Here's what I want to invite you to do in particular on the Australian dollar, US dollar, or, or on any other financial instrument that you look at with Bollinger Bands placed on them. I'm going to make these Bollinger Bands, these lines, super thick so that you can see them really well. All right, here are the Bollinger Bands. Yeah, I got to make the same color throughout the whole thing. All right. There's outer Bollinger Bands, there's upper and lower bands, and then a middle band. Anytime you see this Australian dollar or your favorite currency pair of cho choice, the US dollar, Canadian dollar, inside of a trend, move outside those bands. I want you to turn off all, all of it. I want you to turn off all trend trading when we go outside those bands. When we go outside those bands, we have done something reasonably extraordinary. And those are times when the trend begins to exhaust itself and turn around, thus leading us to some of our future conversations about counter-trend trading. In this example here, in this example here, in this example here, all three of these examples on the chart in front of me, the price is outside those Bollinger Bands set to 800 2. When that happens, any change of color, any divergence, any stochastic trade, and any Mesa trade is over, done, not going to happen. Do not take any trend trades outside of those bands. Some of those trades can be some of the greatest trades ever of all time and forever in the history of the entire world. However, we don't want to be a part of them. Those trades, when they happen, are low probability trades that do not have a significant chance of success. In this example here, you see the Australian dollar, US dollar fall out of the bottom Bollinger Band here and drop a long way. My recommendation to you is get in that trade on this divergence back here. Don't get in Mesa or divergence trades below the bottom band. This is an envelope filter or a Bollinger Band filter on the trend trading that we do previously did not exist under any version of the Arizona rules, but this filter alone keeps you out of some of the grossest, dumbest trades that you would never want to take. And it works surprisingly well also as an interim profit target on the trades that you take. If you're trading with the trend on a bullish divergence move in a upward trend, and you take the trade and it hits the top Bollinger Band or approaches the envelope, in both of those cases, you can move your stop loss to break even, take some of your profit off the table, but in no situations whatsoever do you want to take those trades. If you don't think that they occur, think again. In this example right here, you can see that we get a regular divergence trend trade in this upward trend above the Bollinger Band. It's off the table. We don't want it, we're not interested in it, and we totally avoid it. Sean. Questions, thoughts? No, I actually really, I really enjoy the the fact that uh, we can filter out some of those trades when when the the trend is well, over is that's extended. That's an interesting question. I mean, just... If I understood your question correctly, it was room, room, room. If you don't <laughs> mind, Sean, chatting with me in the chat panel or box on the webinar, you could ask me a question there. I'll pause the recording while we wait for that to come through. Well, there you have it. There is a filter. There you have a filter on the Australian dollar, U.S. dollar. Five minute chart. This Bollinger Band filter applies to any financial instrument on any time frame chart. One last word about Bollinger Bands and moving averages in the Arizona rules. If you're trading stocks or futures and you don't have the 800 period simple moving average on your charts, you can substitute the 500 and that would be fine. When you move beyond those Bollinger Bands, you turn off the trade. I appreciate that you've spent your time with us today. Thanks for being a part of webinar number two in the Arizona Rules webinar series.